What is up guys? This is the Dropshipping Hacker here and in today's video I'm briefly going to go over how to drive traffic to your Shopify store. If you're new to my channel please be sure to subscribe because I'm dropping new videos for you weekly on how to create your first Shopify store so you can start generating your sales. And guys be sure to stick around through the entire video because I'm going to share with you three free ways that you can start generating traffic to your store today. So with that said let's just jump right into it. One of the biggest hurdles facing beginners in the uh, Shopify dropshipping business is generating traffic to their storefront. Now, when you guys start your Shopify business, nobody knows that your Shopify store is open. Now, unlike other platforms like eBay and Amazon, Shopify is not giving you traffic. So it's up to you to drive traffic to your store. Now there are two different traffic methods. There's the paid traffic and then there is the free traffic. So let's go over quickly some examples of paid traffic. The number one paid traffic method is Facebook advertising. Now this is a really great way to test your products. What you're gonna do is you're gonna be running campaigns on Facebook and each campaign you're gonna be testing out your products through different ads. So you're going to be creating a couple different ads. For example, you're selling a dog necklace. You would want to create, I would say, three different ads just for that one product to kind of see which ads are the most profitable. And that way, when you do find which ad is profitable, you can just increase the spending on that ad. Now there's a chance that maybe that product isn't going to be profitable at all. And by testing these ads, you'll quickly learn which products are profitable and which ones are not. I recommend spending around $60 on each product just to kind of get a feel. And if, you know, you kind of go by the data that is available after $60, and if it's just not working out for you, then go ahead and start testing the next product. Next way is through Instagram influencers. So you're going to be reaching out to these big Instagram influencers who have a following of at least 20,000 people. Um, and you're gonna do this by going to specific Instagram influencers within your own niche. Now you can reach out to them, there's different ways to go about it, but you're basically just gonna reach out to them and ask them to kind of promote your store or maybe a product within the store. So you'll just go ahead and send a sample product over to them and they'll just shout out your store in their Instagram. And then the last paid traffic method would be running ads through Google AdSense. So you're going to do, basically be doing the same thing through as you would with Facebook advertising, but this is just a little bit bigger platform through Google. So what are some examples of free traffic? You've got Pinterest. Now, depending on your niche, Pinterest might not be the best free traffic method for you as the audience base is mainly women so keep that in mind. But with Pinterest, you're able to create a free account and you're gonna go and start pinning uh, your products on these boards. And within those pins, you're gonna have your copy where you're gonna be promoting that product and you're gonna have a backlink to your store. So you're gonna have, you're gonna start creating your own following on Pinterest geared around that niche. And that is gonna help drive traffic directly to your store. So that's a really great free method to getting traffic to your store. Now the second great way is through Facebook groups. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for your niche into the search description and you're just gonna look for groups related to that niche. And you're gonna wanna sign up for as many groups as you can. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna be providing value to the people within those groups. So if someone posts, let's say you're selling baby products uh, you, you find, you know, first time mothers group on Facebook and a mother asks a question perhaps related to uh, how to prepare food or something like that. You're going to want to jump in there and be the first person to answer that question and just provide value to her. Answer that question. Don't just spam these boards. Give them value and then subtly link them up to your store. So this is gonna be a really great way to generate free traffic. 
So is, there's a lot of, lot of groups out there on Facebook. So you shouldn't have a problem with this. Just don't spam these boards and you'll do good. And then the last way is to go through SEO. Now, what I mean by this is blogging. You can start your own blog site and just kind of create authority uh, towards your niche. Um, this is a little bit more complicated, but it is, it is possible to do. So this is a little bit more of an advanced strategy in terms of free traffic. But I recommend doing this either way because you want to diversify your different traffic generations. So SEO is a really great way to create that traffic. And you can link this up to you know, your Facebook pages, to your Pinterest. And, and this will just kind of give a whole, whole roundabout way of driving traffic to your store. So the more methods that you apply towards traffic generation, the better. And I always recommend that you stick with what you feel most comfortable with, but don't be afraid to expand upon other things. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you want more information on exactly how to start your Shopify business from A to Z, I do have a free ebook available to you where I go over the six step formula on how to create your first sale on Shopify. You can get that by going to www.thedropshippinghacker.com. Again, that's a free ebook for you, the six step formula on getting your first sale on Shopify. You can get that at thedropshippinghacker.com. Guys, if you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, give it a comment if you have any questions or if there's any topics you want me to cover in the future, just drop a line in the comment section below. Share this video with your friends and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I am dropping new videos for you weekly. I do want to see you guys succeed because this is a really great business. And guys, until next video, I'll see you later.